Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show that a n equal to 3 power n minus n cubed minus 2 power n, 2 over n tends to infinity. For n is an integer 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Now, to in order to do this, I need to code a result which is called the reciprocal rule for sequence. Let's look at the PowerPoint slide from, on the reciprocal rule for sequence. Alright? The reciprocal rule for sequence can be found in David Brennan's book, page 64, which says that if a sequence an satisfies two conditions, number one, an is eventually positive, number two, one over n is a noun sequence, then an will tend to infinity. So let's go and show the first part, showing that an is eventually positive. Okay, so let's look at the solution. So in this case, a n is 3 power n. So right here, a n is 3 power n minus n cubed minus 2 over n. Now notice that for n equal to 1, for n equal to 1, what happened to a1? So a1 is equal to 3 power 1 minus 1 cubed minus 2 over 1. You find that this is 0. A2, when n equal to 2, let's find out what happened when n equal to 2. For n equal to 2, we find that A2 is equal to 3 power 2 is 9, 2 power 3 is 8, 2 over 2 is 1, so 9 minus 8 minus 1 is again 0. Now for n equal to 3, we find that A3 is equal to 3 power 3 is 27. And 3, 3 power 3 is 27 again, then minus 2 third. Less than 0. However, for n greater than 3, that is, for example, for n greater than 3, let's say for n equal to 4, then a4 is 3 power 4 minus 4 power 3 minus 2 power over 4, we have 3 power 4 is 81. 4 power 3 is 64, minus 1 over 2, we know that this number is positive. So in fact, for n greater than 3, that is 3, 3 4, 5, we know a n is positive. So a n is eventually positive. So this is the first condition required by the reciprocal rule show that a sequence tends to infinity. Let's look at the rule again. The reciprocal rule says that if a sequence a n satisfies number 1, a n eventually positive, number 2, 1 over n is a null sequence, then a n tends to infinity. So the second step is to show that 1 over n is a null sequence. So let's look at 1 over a n. So 1 over a n, in this case, is 1 over 3 power n minus n cubed minus 2 over n. Now in this case, the dominant term between 3 power n and n power 3 is 3 power n. So what I'm going to do now is divide all the numerator and denominator by 3 power n. So 1 over n is 1 over 3 power n. 3, of, 3 power n divided by 3 power n is 1 then n cubed over 3 power n and then minus 2 over n divided by 3 power n. So in this case, I'm going to make use of some basic null sequence. So let's recall some of the basic null sequence now. I'm going to let show that 1 over n is a null sequence by using combination rule. So let's look at some basic null sequence which says that you can find this on David Brandon's text, page 48. It says 1 over np for np greater than 0 is a null sequence. c power n for absolute value c less than 1. And third one, n power p, c power n for absolute value c less than 1, p greater than 0. These are three cases of basic null sequence. So let's come and look at the solution again. So we know that 1 over 3 n is a basic null sequence. 
Okay, the reason is because in this case, this is actually 1 over no, c power n, where c is equal to 1 third now. Alright, and c absolute value of c less than 1, we know. Okay, what else? Okay, uh, 2 power n, also I can look at 1 over n now. 1 over n is a basic now sequence. Because of 1 over n power p for p greater than 0. Right? So here now p is equal to 1 here now. And another one is n cubed over 3 power n. So it's also a basic now sequence. Let me write here for what reason. So n cubed over 3 power n is a basic now sequence. The reason because of the one of the basic now sequence m power p c power n. In this case, p is equal to 3, c equal to 1 over 3. So all of these are, all of them are basic now sequence. So I can apply the combination rule now. So by the combination rule of sequence, Right? And we know that limits of n goes to infinity 1 over a, 1 over n is equal to limits of n goes to infinity 1 over 3 power n limits of n goes to infinity 1 minus 3 n over n power 3 over 3 power n minus 2 over n 1 over 3 power n. Now using the fact that all these three sequences given above are basic now sequence limit, that means the limit of n goes to 21 over 3 power n 0 and n cubed over 3 power n also 0. That's the limit as n goes to infinity. 2 power n as n goes to infinity is 0. 1 over 3 power n as n goes to infinity is also 0. So in the end, the limit of this is 0. Which means that 1 over a n is now so on here is now. Therefore, we conclude by the reciprocal rule now. So by reciprocal rule of sequence, we know that a n tends to infinity. Okay, so this is the end of a recording. So remember the key point, key takeaway, how to show that a sequence tends to infinity. Key takeaway is an is eventually positive. And second thing that takeaway is an 1 over n is now. And I use some basic now sequence and combination rule to help me. And then we conclude by the reciprocal rule of sequence that an tends to infinity. This is the end of recording.